Hi, I'm Joey with the Garmin Aviation Team, and I'm here to talk about the G3X Touch flight displays, in general just the configuration, and just getting around the G3X Touch displays themselves. So here in this demo configuration, we've got two 10-inch displays, as well as a 7-inch display here in the center. The system's architected to display any combination of these displays up to four. So as you can see, it's designed to fit most any panel or budget. The displays are completely customizable and they can be assigned uh, as default to either primary flight display or multifunction display. And any of the displays can be split to display both PFD and MFD information. The hardware features two dual concentric knobs as well as four dedicated buttons, including access to some of the most popular features are dedicated nearest and direct to uh, buttons here. In the middle here, we have a SD card slot that is primarily used for adding or updating your databases, uh, adding checklists, and logging other flight data parameters. The bezel here features a lip at the bottom, as well as uh, around the top bezel are used to help support your hands during some of those unexpected bumps. And as you can see, the optionally integrated comm and transponders are up towards the corners of the displays to help better access some of these most commonly used features. So while the most intuitive way to access the touchscreen is using the touchscreen itself, the system was designed from the ground up to also add inputs from and access most any feature or function using the dedicated controls. So for example, accessing a Direct2 as simple as pressing the Direct2 key and pressing the knob. The primary flight display, or the PFD here on the left, has a wealth of information that you'd expect from an advanced flight display. So here on the right, you've got the altimeter, you've got your barrow setting, altitude bug, indicated airspeed, ground speed at the bottom, your true airspeed at the top, horizontal situation indicator, slip and skid indicator, and CDI. Right now we're flying through uh, pathways as a feature of all of this of synthetic vision technology, which also displays air airport signposts uh, and traffic for additional situational awareness. On the multifunction display, or the MFD here on the right, it's organized into pages. And to access these pages, it's as simple as touching the bar and selecting the page, or you can use the knob to select through the various pages. Shortcuts are embedded throughout the system and are indicated with anything with a white box around it, generally speaking. So touching the engine indication strip here reveals the engine indication status page here on the multifunction window. So that was just a quick overview of the configurability, scalability, and just getting around some of the G3X touch features.